In this video, I'm going to show you the top ways that seven figure Shopify stores and drop shippers find winning products before anybody else and how I find my products every single time. The ones that I put here on the YouTube channel, the ones that I give to my students, pretty much all the products that I find are through these three main ways. I'm going to show you how to do it, how you can replicate the process again and again, find the best products and crush your competition. Let's go. Hey, it's Rafael Sintron here. Like I said, I'm going to show you the ways that I find my products and one of the best ways to really find products before they become so famous or before they become super saturated and they're posted everywhere and there's no chance of you to actually sell them. But before we start, I want to extend my invitation, my last invitation to the five day live training coming up next Monday. So today is Friday, next Monday, we'll be starting our five day live free e-com training with the first link down in the description. It's going to be in a private group setting. You're going to learn absolutely everything that you need to know about Shopify, about e-commerce to take your store to the next level all for free. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one call with us and mentor directly with me and see how you can work with me and my team to take your business to the next level, check that second link is to book a one-on-one -on -one free discovery call. Now off to the first tool, it is new and I really haven't seen anybody talk about it. It is called glimpse meet glimpse.com. None of these tools paid me for this video, by the way, this isn't a paid shout out or anything like that. These are tools that I legitimately use myself. So what this tool does, it, it's a little bit weird. I didn't really understand it in the beginning. I've been using it just a few weeks. It isn't a year old. I think it's even less than a year old, the actual tool. So what it does is it spots trends just like this. So it's like Google Trends, but for specific products, specific companies that you can see here, just like TikTok, OnlyFans, <laughs> Um, cap wing, things like that, or industries like CBD, solo travel, plant delivery. So the one that we're going to focus on is products. So for example, this thing here, Emgality, I don't really know what it is, but it seems like it's popping off massively since 2017. Goalie gummies, the same thing, popping off massively since 2018. So what this tool does is it sends you emails or it sends you a newsletter of these trends that are just about to pop off. So for example, when Blendjet started selling their portable blender, which is a huge success, making millions of dollars, that was about here, June. No, actually, I think it was 2018. So they caught that massive spike and they won. So an eight figure dropshipper or an eight figure Shopify store caught a trend that was going up and up and up, which was a portable blender, made a bunch of money with it. And now they've made a ton of money with their brand. So Glimpse basically sends you a list just like this to your email. So you basically sign up for it. It's free. They have a free plan and you can sign up for it. They send you these graphs just like this and it tells you here are the trends you should think about. So gaming chair is the best one or the first one that you should think about. And then they explain to you why the gaming chair is getting much more tre is trending or is uptrending or getting a lot of more attention. Why specifically, what kind of people are liking it? When did the product come out and why is it breaking popular records right now? They also have other products that I didn't really know existed. For example, an eVike conversion kit. I had no idea what that was. I, I didn't really know that you could convert a bicycle into an e-bike, but if you type and you go to, let's say e-bike conversion kit, and this is another tool that I actually wanted to, to tell you about. It's called keywords everywhere. And with this tool, it is a paid Chrome extension. It is somewhere here, this one right here, keywords everywhere with this one, you can pay $10 for a hundred thousand credits. So here I have 95,000. So it, it gives you for a lot of space. And what it does, it tells you how much volume, a particular search has what the CPC is on Google. So, you know, if it's above like two to $3 CPC, it's too competitive to actually run and the competition, how much competition does it actually have? If it's 0.58, that's actually pretty good. It means that not that many people are selling it. There's also no ads here, although I'm not in, in the U S right now, but there's no ads showing up for it. And the volume is pretty good. What you want to have here is above a thousand or 1500 per month volume for this particular keyword. There's a few videos and a few people selling it here. So what you want to do with a product like this, for example, this one e-bike kit, this store is probably doing really well selling e-bike conversion kits. Let's check on sales source here, which is another tool that I'm going to talk about in a minute. You can analyze any store and the links to all these are down in the description. Let's see how much money this e-bike conversion kit store is making. In the meantime, we're going to go to other ones here. So love very, 
for example, this particular company, uh, I think it's a toy company. It says here and baby boomers. So this seems to be a grandparent focused kid company or a grandparent focused toy company. And it seems like it's popping up. So what you want to do is you want to look at that trend and do love very. And let's see what they're doing. Play to learn toys for developing brains. So let's see what they do. And you can spot, and these are all Shopify stores. It's kind of funny because they talk about different trends, but they're really just Shopify stores. So you can see when a Shopify store is trending, when it's growing, when a particular trend or a particular product search is exploding based on this tool, based on the email that they sent you. So you know, you can see what products they sell. You can see why they sell it. If you can sell it yourself, look it up on AliExpress, see the search volume there and so on. So the next one that they show me pressure air fryer. So uh, a fryer for your food at home that seems to be trending really well. Then we have another one called hobby, which is a company for knitting. So knitting is taking a nice uptrend as well. I talk about that in my last video team blind, which is about uh, this is tech gossip. So it's just a company that is growing jugger scrubs. That one seems to be pretty cool. Um, it's a niche business from the outside. Medical apparel is a huge industry. So it seems to be that scrubs for medical workers or just for jogging, it seems is taking a huge increase because of the pandemic, because of the whole coronavirus situation. So you can spot these trends that you wouldn't normally think about. If you want to build a brand or a long-term store, these are extremely helpful for you to just find ideas and know what things are trending and growing out there. So the store that we checked, this e-bike kit is making 60 to 120 K per month. So it's actually doing pretty well. That store with an e-bike conversion kits or the e-bike kits. So that's really a tool that I use just for predicting the future a little bit or knowing what trends are going to start popping up. Hey, hope you're enjoying the video really quick. If you want a step-by-step -step case study that I recorded with my student Ryan on how he went from zero to $60,000 per month, it is only reserved for private students, but I'm giving it away on this video. If you go and comment automate, automate down in the comments below subscribe and that notification bell and that like button i'll pick a winner to send that case study over how to go from zero 60k per month everything shared on the video go ahead and do it so going back to that tool with sales source i really want to stay on this tool because it is the second tool that i was going to talk about so in the dashboard here when you log into sales source the link is in the description you can go to the product feed and what it essentially does is it just gives you suggested products. So this one, for example, is suggested here. It is a nail feeder machine. So you can go and check that out. It also gives you trending stores. And like I said, it estimates the revenue based on the traffic, based on multiple factors. So this particular store, 58K to 120K, what you can do is go to the store and check it out. Check the products that they have. See if they're actually making that amount of money. You can check the best selling products right here. So we can check what products are selling the best for them and then other products here that can potentially do well. You also have trending drop shipping stores. So only for drop shipping, not necessarily a Shopify store. And it has a lot of different tools that I like to check to see if this store is doing well or if these products are doing really well. Another thing that you can do is also go to the trending now tab, which I've used to find a lot of products before. So it's not like every product on here is going to be a winner. Definitely not out of 20 products, probably one or two tends to be a good one to sell. But what I want to do through this trending tool is let me just pull up as many as possible. So here, for example, I have this paste to edition bullet journal bullet journals are they sell, but they're not that great. Obviously no, don't sell masks. Um, a lot of them are in other languages. So that's what I also don't like. But for example, Let's try to find one product that could do well here. This is a silicone scraper and finisher. Let's check that out. Silicone scraper you can view on the live store. What I want you to do is go to AliExpress and check the product on AliExpress and see if it's actually selling on the platform. So we're going to look for a silicone scraper and finisher. Let's look at that silicone scraper. And let's see how many sales this has or how, how much volume it has. See if a lot of people are buying it on AliExpress so we can prove that it's a good product. So we found it here. It's pretty similar to the one that we saw before. And you can sort by orders here on AliExpress to see which one has the most orders. And we can find one with, oh, okay, almost 5,000 orders. So let's check that out and let's see if it's actually a winning product. You can use this other tool, this Chrome extension called Pexgle. 
pex cloud right here to see the average order volume per day so this order statistics statistics it's down in the description too it's for free it's just a chrome extension it tells you how many orders you're getting on a daily basis so this one is getting 40 60 went down to 30 44 so it's getting about 40 per day stably uh, consistently so this is actually a great product to sell that is what i do i don't just trust sales source and i don't just say oh yeah this this product is amazing it's trending i'm going to start selling it i actually want to prove that the product sells and i also want to prove that the store is making money with that so you also want to click on sales source and click analyze store and see how much this particular store is making so we do a lot of things to make sure that we cover our bases not to pick a product that is just dead from the beginning just put on the spy tool you can't really trust spy tools there's not a perfect one you really need to do the back around um, research on it so let's look for another one here in the trending ones this quilting foot press this might might actually be really good uh marble wallpaper oh this might be pretty good waterproof marble wallpaper let's check that out let's see if that what or marble wallpaper let's see if that pulls up anything and then in the store analyzer we'll go back to salty corn they're making around 100 to 200 thousand dollars per month so that store that was selling the here the silicone scraper is making a lot of money so that store is doing really well we can trust it we can trust that it's doing pretty well and that this is a product that has the potential to sell because a store that is making 200k a month and selling this product probably knows what they're doing and they're going to sell a lot of it so now let's go to the marble uh wallpaper here so we have i think it was this one wallpaper self-absorbent or let's try waterproof so you need to really do the research really well that's why i'm taking you through all the steps that i do so let's do waterproof marble wallpaper because that's the one that we found here and it's basically to put on the counter let's see what we can find 621 sort by orders here and we have this one three th oh this one here we go okay let's see how many sales it's getting or how many sales it's getting per day and that's the one that we want waterproof marble wa wallpaper okay so it's getting about okay so it died down a little bit to about five 20 orders per day nine orders per day it seems to not be doing that well anymore let's try with another one you do need to look at a few listings because maybe one particular supplier ran out of stock or didn't do that well so we have to check multiple suppliers let's check on pexcla again and see which one of them is selling pretty well so this one 30 20 it jumped up to 50 now 67 orders per day i think this could be a huge product and just based on my experience i think wallpapers or anything for protecting furniture could be a huge product and it has been huge for my students so this one could actually be a good one so this trending now tool you really need to do extra research on it but it's definitely one of the tools that i use to find the best products that i've ever shared shared with anybody now the third method that i really like is by allowing your drop shipping agent or letting the person that is processing your orders give you product suggestions so if you don't have a drop shipping agent maybe you're not making that many sales it's hard for you to find an agent what you want to do is go to upwork.com and look for a drop shipping agent and you can hire one a drop shipping agent to just process all your orders what i highly recommend is that you have an moq minimum order quantity per day that you're at least making 10 to 20 orders a day on your Shopify store, your dropshipping store, you get a Shopify agent or a dropshipping agent. And that person typically deals with a lot of different dropshippers and sellers that might be making six figures, seven figures, eight figures. And what they do is when they gain your trust, when they start to like you, when you start to build a really nice relationship with them, they start giving you product suggestions. So they start to become your product research person, the product person that gives you those suggestions that tells you, hey, maybe you should test this. Maybe you should test that. And a lot of them do that once they've really processed a lot of orders for you or built up a lot of trust with you. They know that you're not just going to go and share with everybody. They know that you're just going to sell it for your store and also that you have the potential to make a lot of money with that product. And that is one way that we found out some of our six-figure products have really been through dropshipping agents telling us, that the product is doing well for somebody else and that it could do well for us so that's a way that you really can't replicate that easily unless you're already making some sales and you have a nice relationship with an agent highly recommend you do that because some of the best suggestions that you'll get ever are all from dropshipping agents and like i said if you don't have that moq or aren't making so much money you can't find a dropshipping agent you can just hire one on upwork start working with them build a nice relationship with them talk to them all the time and ask for suggestions. They're gonna give you some product research suggestions that will really get your results because 
they're on the inside. They know what's happening. They're gonna give you that suggestion and you're gonna crush it. That's it for these three tools on how to find products before anybody else. If you wanna join us for our five day live e-commerce free training directly with me, teaching you everything that you need to know about your store, about growing your business and your e-commerce business, make sure to click that first link down in the description, join the private Facebook group. And if you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one call with us, check that second link in the description, book a one-on-one -on -one discovery call. If you want to know the top 30 products to sell right now for your Shopify store, anywhere you are, doesn't matter what country you are, the top products that I've picked myself, I shared them here on YouTube, and people are going crazy over those products. They can make you six figures, seven figures, even if you scale them up to the next level. I tell you exactly how to sell them, why they sell, and everything about them. Mm -hmm. Check the video right here. Top 30 products to drop ship or top 30 products to sell on your Shopify store is this video. Make sure to comment down below, automate, automate for our free call giveaway. Subscribe, hit that notification bell and that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's important. A lot of people don't subscribe. They just watch the videos and you tell YouTube that you like this channel, that you want to see more videos by subscribing. Click that notification bell, watch this video, and I will see you on the next one.